If you're a corporate meeting planner who's looking to make your next event a rousing success without the stress, then please allow me to introduce you to award-winning corporate host and humorist, Peter Fogel, who has worked or appeared on over 22 programs, such as Married with Children, Men Behaving Badly, and HBO's Comedy Central, just to name a few. As an actor, this funny man has graced the stage of some of our country's leading performing arts centers. Recent engagements include being a touring star of one of the longest-running one-man comedy shows in theater history, My Mother's Italian, My Father's Jewish, and I'm in Therapy. Who, what, where, why, how much of a discount? Don't stop coming. He's so funny. <laughs> Broadwayworld.com called it a wonderful show. My Italian family, we don't know nothing, we didn't see nothing, you don't ask. My mother's Italian, my father's Jewish, and I'm in therapy. You don't have to be Jewish or Italian to love it. Reminded me growing up in New York and being a kid again. It was a lot of fun. From cruise ships to Las Vegas showrooms to corporate America, this in-demand award ceremony MC, business speaker and seminar leader, will deliver you a customized presentation that will inspire your audience with actionable content plus loads of laughs, guaranteed. As the employee re-engagement expert, Peter Fogel is also the author of the best-selling book, Reboot Your Career, 27 Ways to Reinvent Yourself in the Workplace, if you still have a job. Does he have a GPS? Remember your day, you never had a GPS. You had the, old, you had the triptychs of Automobile Club of America, remember? <laughs> That's what you did it. Because oh, once you want to open the big maps, you can never get the map back folded ever again, am I correct? <laughs> And now they have a global positioning system. They created an electronic device with a woman's voice telling a man how to drive. <laughs> it's diabolical. Make a left, make a right, go two thirds of a mile and make another left. I said make a left. Why aren't you listening to me? My mother's right, you're a loser, let me out of this car. You can program it for Japanese. <laughs> This is an amazing device, right? You didn't have a GPS in your day. Look, it tells you exactly what's up ahead. It tells you the future. It's like a pocket Nostradamus. You kids, you kids, you kids, wouldn't you like to have that when you graduate college? You have a, you have a GPS in your forehead, you know what's right ahead, three quarters of a mile is opportunity. Nope, it's General Motors, recalculate, recalculate, recalculate. Oh look, the woman of your dream. Nope, it's the Octomom, recalculate, recalculate. Uh, so I do cruise ships. Anyone go on cruise ships? Oh, what a surprise. People in Florida going on cruise ships. People in Florida never get a chance to go on a cruise I love watching you people on cruise ships eat eight, nine times your body weight. You're not even that hungry. You're, you're like going to your own execution. And the more money you lose at the casino, the more you put on your plate. So you're thinking, we paid for it. That's why we eat. We eat as much as we possibly can because we paid for it. And it never fails, no matter where I go on a cruise, there's always some couple from Boca that finds me after the show and wants to set me up with the daughter, and the man, his name is always Saul. Saul always finds me. Saul comes up and he goes, you were hysterical. We saw your show, you were hysterical, you're very funny. You have to go out with our daughter, please. You're young, you're thin, you have a great head of hair, would you go out with her? Thank you, but I don't go on blind dates. Please, you have to. I look at the mother, the mother goes, yes, you have to go out with her. I beg you, there's no nice guys in Boga anymore. There's too much going on with them. They show me a picture of the daughter. She's gorgeous. She's a 12. I call her on the phone. The daughter goes, I heard so much about you. I can't wait to go out with you. But let me tell you, it's like I'm going, what is this, Ernest Borgnine? Is she's chugging down razor blades? Well, let me tell you something, mister. If we're going to go out tonight, I want to go somewhere really expensive. So I took it to a gas station. Thank you, gas, two bags of Doritos, $153, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want you people to ever give in to as you are making this transition, because I would all say you folks are reinventing yourselves, correct? Yes? This is, this is a whole new change. This is like the second part of your life. Um, let me tell you something about fear. Fear you can overcome. 
Regrets last a lifetime. And the number one fear that people have, do you believe, the number one people have in the top 10 lists of fears is what I'm doing right now. Do you believe that? Public speaking is the number one fear people have. You know what's seventh? Death. <laughs> the worst thing that can happen is you giving a eulogy at your own funeral. <laughs> number one is public speaking. Two is heights. Three is bugs and insects. Four is financial problems. Uh, five is deep water, and let's face it, if you have financial problems, you are in deep water. <laughs> Six is sickness. Seventh is death. Eight is flying. Nine is loneliness. Ten is dogs. Repite, por favor. Let's go over that. One is public speaking. Two is heights. Three is bugs and insects. Four is financial problems. Five is deep water. Six is sickness. Seventh is death. Eight is flying. Nine is loneliness. Ten is dogs. So when we put this all together, the biggest fear I could possibly have is feeling nauseous, being on top of the Empire State Building, trying to get bugs off my body, looking over the edge, not scared that I'm going to fall to my death, but I'm going to fall into a vat of water. I want to go in and talk to my friends, but I'm scared because I lost all their money in the stock market for them. I want to go on a vacation, but I have a fear of flying. I'm feeling very lonely right now, and what is that poodle doing up here? <laughs> but the one thing you have control about is your sense of humor. That is the one thing that I preach when I do a public speaking, is how to overcome adversity with, uh, with laughter. That's the one thing you can have control of your life, is your sense of humor. Don't let anything ever get you down. You will have your ups and downs. You, uh, you want to feel good about yourself. This is one of the secrets that I, I have determined. If you want to find, so just find someone off who's a little worse off than you. I'm not talking disabled, but find that one friend that has the drama in the life, you know everyone has drama. Find someone who has drama. You know the person has drama. Everything goes wrong. This is happening. That's happening. I didn't get the loan mod. I did get the loan mod. I'm for everything that's happening to them, what's going on to them. And they oh, the dog ate the, the homework. The homework ate the dog. My neighbor shot the dog, whatever. Sit that person down and look them in the eye and go, I support you unconditionally. I love you. But every day I wake up, I thank God I'm not you. <laughs> that is the secret. Watch the Jerry Springer show. <laughs> and no matter what's going on with your life, you say, thank God I'm not these people. What's wrong with your problems? <laughs> you should try to find the humor in everything you do throughout your day. You should do things that are different. Get out of your whole, you know, the usual routine. You want to have fun? You want to have be a little outrageous? This is what you expect. Do this during the holidays. Do something that you normally would do. Go to a congested mall. Go to a congested mall where someone's looking for a parking space, walk very slowly in front of him, dangling your car keys. Don't just follow you. And then you turn him and go, oh, these are my house keys, I walked here. Have fun, that's what you do, ladies and gentlemen. Shake things up. Next time you go to a doctor, next time you go to a doctor and it's a very large waiting room, you want to be taken immediately, here's a little hint. When the nurse gives that medical history form to fill out, check off every ailment. How many of you tuberculosis? Check, 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 check. Even if there's been a part, ever been convicted of a felony? Yes, check it off! Hand it back to the nurse and go. Have fun. Have fun what I did. You know what I did this New Year's Eve? You know what I I stay stone sober got on the L.I.E. and weaved. <laughs> Just to upset the police. Just to see, look at his face. He wanted me to walk that white line. I'll go, I'll walk the white line. Hey, I'll moonwalk. <laughs> I'm sober now. I'm going to a party to get drunk. You got all excited, didn't you? That's gonna make the quota. <laughs> all you have to do is look around, folks. Use your humor eye. Really, and, and the truth is what's really funny. To give you an idea. Peter, I just want to thank you for uh, what a wonderful time at the ConnectWise Partner Summit 2006. Uh, our industry is a little unique, as you found out, being the IT services, but you really nailed it on the head, and our audience of 600 people, I think, really felt that you knew the industry inside and out, and uh, just a testimony of how your expertise in comedy uh, can translate into an industry that uh, you want to apply to. Thanks again. It's great, great show.
recommend you to anybody. Hi, I'm Brian Farrell with the Edison Electric Institute. I hired Peter Fogel to speak to an industry group. He was fabulous. It was really very funny, hysterical. He customized it to meet the needs of the group, brought in a lot of local material, improvised on the site. It was truly outstanding. I would highly recommend it. Jeff Polashek, president of FLAPA. Uh, we just had a great evening listening to Peter. Uh, a lot of funny jokes, uh, great, great humor with our organization. Uh, happy to have him back again next year or whenever else uh, our conferences happen. So just a great night all the way around. Thank you. Hey, I'm Jay Spence. I'm a director of product and solutions marketing at Axiom EPM. We just had Peter kick off our planning summit here in Las Vegas. Did a great job, tailored with the message just what we needed. Warmed up the crowd for us. We got a lot of laughs. Was, he did a fantastic job. Highly recommend him. Josh, right there,